today's video i am going to verify whether the given function u is harmonic in the whole complex plane and also i am going to find out the conjugate harmonic function v of u and this problem is from functions of complex variables and see what is given in the question u is given so it is x square minus y square minus y so i have to verify whether u is harmonic so it should satisfy laplacian equation what is laplacian equation that is do square u by do x square plus this is do square u by do y square value should be equal to 0 so if it satisfies this equation then we say that u is harmonic for that i am going to make a derivative with respect to x so with respect to x this will be 2x and the double derivative it is 2 and here if you observe if i make a derivative with respect to y so this will be minus 2y and for y this is minus 1 so if i make a double derivative with respect to y this is u so now i have to check do square u by do x square so do square u by do x square plus do square u by do y square so this is nothing but 2 and this is nothing but minus 2 which is equal to 0 therefore u x x u plus u y y is equal to 0 so u satisfies the laplacian equation therefore the given function u is equal to x square minus y square minus y is harmonic see here in an easy process i am going to find out the conjugate harmonic function see i am going to find out the conjugate for u v will be the conjugate so u is conjugate to find the conjugate harmonic function to find the harmonic conjugate function v see i am using milnes thompson method see we have according to the according to the milnes thompson method according to the milnes thompson it is very easy see here we have f of z is equal to see f of z is equal to u plus i into v if i make a derivative with respect to x so this will be u x plus i into v x see here f f dash of z is equal to what is it do u by do x plus i times of this is do u by do v by do x and again we have cr equations what are those cr equations according to the cr equations we have do u by do x is equal to this is do v by do y and x do u by do y is equal to minus do v by do x so we have u values here so u is given so i have to transform this v into u so in place of do v by do x i am going to write minus do u by do y see our question will become so f dash of z will become see here so i am using the cr equations in the cr equations so we have f dash of z is equal to here do u by do x plus i times of so we have to find out v so we have only u u content so in place of do v by in place of do v by do x i am going to write minus do u by do y so this is minus do u by do u by do y see here now i am going to substitute what is do u by do x so do u by do x value is nothing but f dash of z is equal to see f dash of z is equal to this is 2x plus i times of minus do u by do x already there is minus here see this is minus of minus 2y minus 1 see clear so f dash of z is equal to this is 2x minus of minus plus i times of this is 2y plus 1 so in milnes thompson method so we have to replace x by so replace x by z and y by 0 replace so according to the milnes thompson method we have to write in place of z, x as z so this will be f dash of z is equal to this is 2z plus i times of in place of y this is 0 this is plus 1 so f dash of z is equal to this is 2z plus i 1 into i so if i make integration so f dash of z is equal to so if i make uh, integration so this will be 2z plus i into dz so this is also 
if I make integration on both sides then C integration and derivative got cancelled and f dash of z will be 2 into this is z square by 2 plus i times of this is z plus c and this is the analytic function so if we expand this one so now i can cancel this two so after cancelling this two so what remains here so f of z is equal to see here f of uh, z value is nothing but this is z square plus i into z sub plus c See, f of z, if I expand this, so f of z value is equal to x plus i y whole square plus i times of this is x plus i y plus some c. So, f of z value is equal to this is a square. So, this is b square plus this is 2ab. And next one, if I multiply with x, this will be xi. This is minus y plus c. So, I have to split the real part and the imaginary part. See here. So, x square minus y square here. This is i, i. So, I can write all these in one bracket. So, this is x square minus y square minus y in one bracket. And if I take out i, this is 2xy plus x plus c. Now, f of z is nothing but as I said you earlier, what is f of z? So, f of z is equal to this is u plus iv. Now, what is u? So, u of x is equal to u of x comma y is equal to this is x square minus y square minus y and v of x is equal to this is 2xy plus x so the value here is 2xy plus x is the value so this is how we have to solve and see here so we we can add some constant here and this is nf so this is the analytic function what is the analytic function this is the analytic function f of z is equal to so f of z is equal to x square minus y square minus y plus i times of this is 2xy plus x so this is the analytic function this is u and the conjugate of u is equal to v all of the Three uh, values came at once using Millis Thompson method. So it's so simple that u is given. So I have to show the Laplace uh, equation. This is nothing but Laplace equation. I have to show that this value is equal to 0. I have shown that this value is equal to 0. So if it satisfies the Laplace equation, we say that it is harmonic. In order to find the conjugate uh, function v, I am using Millis Thompson method. So according to the Millis Thompson method, we have f of z is equal to u plus iv. And if I make a derivative with respect to x throughout the equation f dash of z is equal to ux plus i times of vx and the ux dou u by dou x plus i times of dou, dou v by dou x so these are the cr equations so i have only u values so i have to transform this v in as u so dou v by dou x in place of dou v by dou x i am writing minus dou u by dou y so I have the two values ready here. So this is ux and this is uh, this is ux value and this is vx. So after getting this equation, so uh, according to the millis thompson method, we have to replace x by z and y by 0. So after substituting and again I have to integrate on both sides. After integrating, so I got u value, this is v value and this is whole analytic function. So all the three values came and this is how we have to solve. This will be so simple if you follow and I will be uploading many more, many more problems related to these series. Have a look at those. Please practice and pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.